Good morning, good morning everyone. Mindset Monday today is Tuesday, don't ask. So I wanted to talk a little bit today about what to do when you are super, super, super distracted um, or your mind is telling you that you can't do something because, 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 because. So I'm used to experiencing some kind of funk every once in a while. Um, and normally that funk kind of falls into two super simple categories. Um, however, yesterday's funk was slightly different and I've not been experiencing that actually up until very recently, mainly having a baby sort of um, triggered a lot of that funk. So um, yeah, so I wanted to share some tips today for the two types of funk that I know how to deal with and then share something that happened to me yesterday that kind of threw half of my day off completely. Um, I don't know what the weather is where you are today, but I don't know, can't really see that. UK weather, totally miserable today. I got soaked on the nursery drop off, so now I look like a wet dog that's just come from the doggy parlor, which is fabulous. <laughs> so I normally um, see two types of distractions that come into our lives and stop us from actually doing any work. Let me try and sit down over here. Um, and those two I know how to deal with. But then there's a third one that I've recently experienced more of and that I find significantly more distracting. So one of the reasons why sometimes we don't get done what we want to get done is because we have an awful lot of negative thoughts about ourselves and what we're trying to do. And those thoughts are actually stopping us from taking action. So and that's your classical imposter syndrome type thing. So let's say you're about to go live on Facebook. Maybe there's a group that you're in where somebody has a group prompt that says, you know, go live today and talk about this topic and you really want to do it. But as soon as you get ready to press the button, you think, oh, why am I doing this? I don't have anything of value to add. Um, people don't care um, about what I've got to share. I don't know the answers to everything, so who am I to show up and give the value that I do have, blah, 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 blah. So my dear friend George Bryant um, has just shared something in his Insta story a few days ago that is super helpful that we talked about a couple of weeks ago and I've been using that whenever I have these feelings of like not being good enough, not knowing enough, I need to learn more, I need to study more, blah, 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 blah. Um, and he calls it the 60 seconds of suffering, um, which... Uh, it sounds very dramatic, but it's a really good idea because um, I'll explain it in brief, but if you want to get the full scoop, uh, you can find him on Instagram at Civilized Caveman. Um, I don't know if he did a post about it, but he definitely talked about it in his story. So um, go check it out. Go drop him a message. He might have he might have saved that story somewhere and um, I'm sure he'll send it to you. So his idea was that you give yourself 60 seconds. You literally set a timer on your phone for 60 seconds and you have that amount of time to, to tell yourself all of this shit that you kind of, you know, are thinking right now. So if you're about to go live, you take 60 seconds, set the timer and then you say all right, so nobody wants to hear from me, blah, 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 I don't know anything. And you lay into it as much as you want for 60 seconds. Once that timer rings, you stop. And then the next thing to do is to start looking for um, evidence that that's actually not true. So for example, if you had one failed project in your business recently that you keep drawing back to and that your mind keeps saying, oh, sorry, I have to get up, I've come on and I've got horrible back pain and I can't think properly. Um, so you basically look for evidence that that's actually not true. So you will say, hey, you know, I had this one project that went wrong, but you know, look, recently I got this, 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 and this result for my clients. So what I'm telling myself right now is actually totally not true. And then the third important thing, and this is probably the most important one, is that you have to go out and you have to do whatever it is that scares you anyways. So then it's your turn to pop up and to go live and to do that live on Facebook that you've been telling yourself you're not good enough to do, okay? So that has helped me an awful lot when, you know, you have these moments where you just feel like nothing that you do seems to be good enough. Um... So that's the first kind of distraction that I normally come across. Let me have a drink of coffee. I can't find my hot water bottle, which doesn't help my back pain. <laughs> mm. The joys of being a woman, right? 
Um, so then the second type of distraction I come across is a really good idea. So I'm an ideas person, I have a lot of them. So what happens to me sometimes is that as I'm working, I get this brainwave and I'm just like, whoa, that is like a flipping amazing idea. Um, and then I can't stop thinking about that idea and then I don't get what I actually needed to do done because my mind is so distracted thinking about that idea. So when that happens, I now take 10, 15 minutes out of my day. I stop doing what I'm doing because I'm not being productive anyways right now. And in 10, 15 minutes, I take my notebook or if I'm working on my laptop and I don't feel like I need to be writing this down, I actually just go onto my nice ideas Trello board and I take those 10, 15 minutes to write out what exactly that idea is, who is it for, how is it going to help them. And then the last two or three minutes of that, I look at my goals that I've written up for the current quarter. And I ask myself if that idea would help me to achieve my goals. So if it is my goal to um, book six new done for you clients, for this quarter and my idea was for a really brilliant online course that I should really put out, then developing that right now is not going to help me to achieve my goal for that quarter because it is not going to help me directly, immediately to get more one-to-one -one clients. So instead of working on that, I put it onto my um, Trello board, I keep it in my notebook and then when my goal for my quarter is to develop passive revenue in my business, um, then that's the time to come back and look at those ideas. So having really clear goals and taking the time out to write down the idea so I don't feel like I'm going to lose it if I don't work on it now, that helps me an awful lot to get over that one. So distraction number two is too many amazing ideas for your business um, and feeling like you need to act on all of them all the time. So those are like the two types of funk that I was dealing with 90% of the time. However, since I've had a baby, there's been this third type of funk um, that so far hasn't really come up all that much in my life, um, but it is coming up more and more recently. So let me try and see if I can sit back down again. <laughs> I have to keep getting up, walking around to just make the pain go away. Um, so the third type of funk, I actually only once... Um, experienced it really badly prior to baby being around and that was when my mum had a stroke um I got called no I called home one evening like I always would and I'd be like oh hi dad why are you answering the phone because he's normally out watching the football in the evenings and he was like oh it's because your mum's in hospital she had a stroke like five days ago and I'm like well why the heck is nobody calling me so that was the last time I was super distracted but it's happened more often recently um and yesterday was a particularly bad example of that because I so our little boy isn't meeting his milestones as far as physical development goes at all. So for I've been seeing that since he's about eight weeks old. However, because it's our first one, doctors tend to ask you, is this your first one? You go, well, yeah, I mean, I have worked in early education for 10 years and looked after hundreds of babies of his age. But yeah, this is the first one that I have at home. Yes. Oh, OK. Well, he'll probably catch up soon. You know, you shouldn't worry so much. He's just a baby. And then they send you on their merry way. So it wasn't until his one year checkup with the health visitor that somebody actually agreed that he's not meeting his milestones. It is getting to a concerning level. And they decided to get me a referral to the pediatrician. So yesterday, 90% of my distraction was down to the fact that we had the pediatrician appointment, that we have been referred for blood tests and for genetic testing to double check that there isn't um, you know, any underlying issue. However, now we play the waiting game and I am not a very patient person. So those, those of you that know me well, they know when I want to get something done, I go and get it done. I don't faff about, I don't wait and see. That's not my kind of approach at all. So I find that type of funk so much more distracting because as soon as you try and focus on something, your thoughts pull you back to, oh yeah, but you know, it could be like a delay that's caused by a chromosomal deletion. Uh, maybe I should just look up what, um, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be doing work, come on. Right, so what am I doing? Oh, but what if it's cerebral palsy? 
you know that there is a good chance that that could be too because he was a small baby of low birth weight oh come on so you your mind as soon as you try and focus on something it it just goes back off on a tangent so those are the kind of funks that are so much more difficult to deal with so if you have a lot of pressure in your personal lives Um, that can have an impact on the focus that you have in your business. So there's two things I did yesterday that helped me an awful lot. And I hope that if you ever get into the situation where you are super distracted, it works for you too. The first thing I was, I t- that I did was I told someone about it and I told multiple people. And if you have a support network around you, hello, hello, I can see someone's there. I can't see who it is though. Um, if you have a support network around you, tell them what is going on for you. The first person you want to tell is somebody at home that also knows your personal situation quite well. The second person that you want to tell is if you have a team, you want to tell your team what is actually going on and that you might have to take it a little bit more easy that day or that week. So communication is key. And the third person that you want to talk to is your coach, your mentor or whatever, because they will continue to hold you accountable to achieve your goals, even if something is not going the way it's supposed to be going in your personal life, which happens to all of us all the time, but it can't completely render us stuck in our business because we have this difficult situation that we're dealing with. Um, So those are the three key people that I would speak to if there was something that impacts on my productivity, my focus, how I feel and all of that stuff. The second thing that I did after I'd spoken to these people, so I in in particular spoke to Anani yesterday morning because she looks after him two days a week and she gets what I'm talking about. The second thing is I told my OBM, I was like, listen, I'm not having a good day today. This is what happened. And, you know, sometimes it's somebody passing away in the family, a close friend, something like that. It all happens to all of us all the time. So I told her and then I held, you know, I told the people that hold me accountable to my target um, about what's going on and that that is super distracting for me right now. So the second thing I did afterwards is I took my notebook and I wrote down all of those thoughts that are racing um, through my mind. And I literally, I think it must have been about three or four pages in the end of like random disconnected thoughts of things I should check out things I have to remember to ask at the next appointment and if the blood test comes back negative what am I going to do then and blah 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 so I wrote it all down so that my plan of action is super clear and right now there isn't anything I can do beyond what I've already done to improve the situation in any way so I kind of put my mind to rest because I'm like I've done everything I can do right now I've written down all of the things that I need to remember to do if this this or that happens and now it's time to get back to actually do focused work so those were the things that helped me yesterday um so if you ever have anything in your personal life that starts impacting on your productivity and focus in your business, I recommend that you try this too and see if it works for you. And if you have any other tips, if you've experienced this before and you feel like, you know, hey, I used this tactic last time and that worked super well for me, then um, and then that is something that I would love for you to recommend. Comment under the video. Let me know what your tactic is um, to deal with these kind of things. And... Um, yeah, that's really it for Mindset Monday on a Tuesday. <laughs> so I'm going to get back to work now because I'm feeling slightly more focused today than I was yesterday. Um, and it helps an awful lot that he's actually a nursery, so I'm not constantly reminded to be thinking about him. And then I'll see you all again tomorrow for the next live video i've still got to decide what we're talking about um it's going to be a strategy video so if you have any questions to do with growing your business um scaling anything to do around hiring a team all those kind of things drop your questions in the group drop them under the video here wherever you like i'll probably see it anyways um so let me know what you're thinking about and then i'll go and i'll make sure that tomorrow's strategy video happens on the wednesday i'll talk to you later bye